Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another video in the PowerShell series. In this video we'll do a quick flyby view of all the loops, or all the types of loops available in PowerShell. We might have covered most of this, so if you want to skip this video feel free to do so. I have on my screen created two variables. Alright, well it's just one variable. So, uh, But I just want to show you something before I delete. Um, the first line. So I could create an array in this fashion or I could use a double dot operator to declare variables continuously from 1 to 10. So if I remove that line, right, so that's good. Now if I do dollar range and save that, so that's how, that's how that works. So I just wanted to show you that that's one of the things you could do if you know you're going to declare an array with all the numbers. It's very easy to do it this way. So here we have our first, first example, the for loop example. So uh, what this is going to do is first print this line and then grab or, or create a for loop, grab the range object um, and get its length property and use it here. And then write host with um, uh, with element and then the element number. Uh, I can make it look even more fancier with that. Right. So if I run this now, it should print element zero to nine as uh, one to ten, which is what we have here. So that's a simple for loop. Right. Now we could do the same. Uh, with for each loop as well. All right, so I've copied some stuff. We'll try each of these commands. They're all they all do the same thing. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to run this. It's what it's doing is for each object in range, it's giving that object a name called val, and you could do the same thing. Like you could do write host and put that in the double quotes. And add parentheses because, and then say element. Right, it's going to print each of the elements. So now, if I run this, it's going to print element so many times, and then each of the times it prints a new value as it goes through. Um, so that's one way of doing it. Um, I'm going to show you the second one. Right, so this one. Uh, dollar underscore we saw is a representation of the current object, so this should technically do the same thing, well without the element because I haven't put that. And if I comment that and uncomment this, uh, what it's doing is I'm piping range into the percentage operator, which is uh, percentage is if I do get alias, alias uh, name for each. So, I okay, probably just percent. Right, so what percent does is it points to for each object, same as for each, so that's the only difference. So for each here is swapped with percentage. That's all that's, all that's doing. So if I run this now, well, I have to save first. Run this now, it gives you the same output right 1 to 10 and it says for each loop example now that's for each loop in a nutshell let's move on to while loop so the next loop we want to look at is the while loop I just got a counter because you know with while you need some counter you need to manage that manually um, outside of the loop so um, I've got a dollar counter less than uh, the range dot length basically uh, that's 10 and it prints the range object, each of the element within the range object, and it increments the counter. So I'm using the semicolon to separate the two two commands there. So if I save that and do that, it's well, it looks the same. So what I'll do is I will change that to six. There we go. Right. So that's working. Now I could do the same thing with the do while loop. So I could do do and then add parentheses and then while and I move all of this oh, okay I've got parentheses here so you just reverse the difference between do while and while is do while executes at least once so that's pr 
pretty much how it should look. So do while. Okay, so let's save that and give it a go. And perfect. That's that's all good. Right? Well I gotta put do. Now if I run it should do that. It should do the do. Perfect. Alright, so that's all of the loops um, within PowerShell. So if you've got any questions, uh, please uh, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. If you like this video, please share with your friends. Comment if you'd like to start a conversation. Come on, don't be shy, and hit the subscribe button now.